death, destruction, death, destruction, murder, death, and destruction, death, destruction, and murder. Go! Woo! Mom and Dad Gaming. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, so while Brian's fighting the Titan, or whatever's happening. Uh, I'll ah! No, yeah, that's fine. Just keep going. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened to our living room uh, this last week. Uh, so, we have this bathroom, the bathroom that's being renovated that we discussed last episode. Uh, that is cursed. Uh, there was a uh, earthquake last year that burst, what was it, the... It, it cracked the, uh, the chrome trap that was on an old clawfoot tub yeah. that was in that bathroom when we so, bought the place. We didn't realize that until a couple days later we were giving our son a bath and suddenly there was a huge leak in uh, the, on the floor and it had like leaked into the next floor and was just ruined our the ceiling in our living room. So that happened last year. We had that fixed, we removed the clawfoot tub, we were going to have it renovated schedules worked out so that we weren't able to get it renovated until this this year basically uh this last month so our house is also over a hundred years old and so it has original like metal radiators and while they're nice for most of the rooms it's not really needed in that teeny tiny bathroom it's taking up more space than it needs to and might as well just remove it. So we were having the renovators remove the metal what was it? radiator, right? <laughs> yeah, you can do this. Keep talking. My brain went poo poo. <laughs> we were having them remove the radiator, but I guess they just didn't really know like how radiators work because uh, they didn't realize there was probably still going to be water in there. And they just took it out and didn't worry about any leakage. And so my son and I are sitting on our little uh, circle chair below the spot. And oh, oh my, God, my God, it's the... You're a shooter. It's a shooting game. This yeah, is it's the, uh, the... It's Star the Toy no, Yeah, Toy Story. Uh, Buzz Lightyear, Star yeah. Command thing. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is the one that's next to uh, Star Tours. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Anyway, continue. Anyway. So, my son and I are reading a book on the rotating chair. Oh my god, there's a cat here. Good boy. Sit down. When suddenly uh, it starts to drizzle from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel <laughs> water hit me. I'm like, um, and I hear like the sound of water sprinkling. I'm like, what is going on? So we have the workers come in and we're like, hey, I don't know what's going on, but you should go check that out. And they go upstairs and they discover that where they took the radiator out, it is all kinds of leaked and so they quickly turn off the water and everything and they're like hey it'll probably be like 20 minutes we have the parts we can fix this right away don't worry um anyway lo and behold they thought they had the parts they did not so it ended up taking longer they didn't communicate that with us so it's like an hour and a half later and Brian's like well I need to use the restroom and no one's around so I'm assuming I can turn the water back on does so I am in my office, which is right next to this bathroom, working on edits with my headphones on, and I just hear whoosh and <laughs> water spraying from where the sink used to be against the door on the other side. And I'm just standing there in my doorway of my office like, what do I do? What do I do? And he's in the basement like, oh god, I gotta turn it off. And he, he runs back down to the basement. My or Kate's sister, my poor sister-in-law, is being yelled at, GO HIT THAT SHIT! And Mackenzie's like, WHERE?! I DON'T KNOW WHAT YOU'RE TALKING ABOUT! Because Mackenzie doesn't know where our water thing is, so 
Brian I'm just Brian freaking runs. out. Brian runs and he turns off the water and I'm upstairs just screaming. The baby sleeping in bed just doesn't even care. He's just like, <laughs> he didn't get a nap that day. He was like, yeah, whatever, mom and dad are screaming, I don't care. It was a nightmare. So they came back, we dried everything. They, oh, you're roller coaster! You are the, the train roller coaster! Oh, that's really funny. I love it. I love this. This is cool. We don't. I'm on board again. Once more on board with <laughs> the ride shtick. Good bird. Yeah. Right now, so right now, I'll insert a picture here, but we have just a gigantic hole. The biggest freaking hole in our ceiling right now, and all of our furniture has to be like moved to the other side to like protect it. And all of that, plus like the actual renovating that's happening, um, they're doing certain things before they patch that hole. This is super cool. It's so cool. Like it's just, it's also gorgeous to look at. Oh god! And they're you shooting out fireworks. It's beautiful. Oh, clearly not a train anymore. Suddenly not a train anymore. Hey, Goofy, help me out here. Go, Go boom. Get it. Um, yeah, so we have... Our house is just... Yeah. Just what I'm getting at. It sucks. But, the workers are good dudes. They're taking care of it. They didn't get mad at Brian for uh, turning on the water. Oh, good. Oh my god. And, uh, hua! Are you- oh, I was just gonna ask, are you doing any damage? <laughs> yes, there's a big old HP bar in the upper right, Tate. Is there? Yes! Oh. Speaking of- Is this the lava monster or the rock monster? Uh, I think it's the rock one. Why is he lava? Wait, uh. magma and lava are two different things. Well, which is which? Is magma the one that is in the earth and lava is the one that's out? Choo choo! The other thing. <laughs> are you not gonna answer the question? <laughs> no, I'm a train motherfucker. <laughs> Rude. Um, magma is molten. It hasn't, uh. They're both molten. Yes, but I believe that lava is stuff that's below the crust. Yes, that's one Mag now. It's not magma until it's Where actually, like, so spewing fuel. Are you sure it's not the other way around? It's one of the two. I think it's the other way. Gah, 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 gah. <laughs> okay, now that uh, Kate has shared our uh, personal woes, wait, I want... Wait, wait. Scientists use the term magma for molten rock that is underground, and lava for molten rock that breaks through the Earth's surface. You were wrong. I was right. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> now that Kate has shared uh, our personal woes, I want to talk about the story that I was talking about last episode. That well, was. Uh, sent me a picture of that. I got a lot to look at until he tells me the story. That I wanted to talk about because uh, I I read about it literally like last night, and it it blew my mind. Um, so there's a pretty, like, common picture that you see shared around, uh, hyper-conservative, uh, spaces. Uh, okay, you can go ahead and look at said picture now. Um, okay. and Kate will probably put it up here on the screen for you guys to look at, so you can follow along with what I'm talking about here. Um, and it's usually shared when people are talking about, like, this is real bravery, not men wearing a dress. Okay. Um, and it's usually, uh, got, like, some, like, super, hold on, some sort of, uh, super, I'm gonna save in a second file in case the audio here is ass. <laughs> and we'll have to replay. I don't know, I'm really paranoid now, oh, Kate. Well, I thought something bad was about to happen. No, um, we're, we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna stand right here so I can share the story, because it's actually, like, really and really important, okay. I think. Um... It's so the picture is usually shared with like a really like crappy black and white filter and like 
made sort of fuzzy, right? To be like a thing. Yeah, well, and people don't realize that it's not... Kate, if you can find a black and white version of it, put it up next to the actual photo. Mm -hmm. Um, But the actual photo was taken by a man named Mark Hogenkamp. That was the only part I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten what his name was. Um, who, uh, first of all, the the men pictured in the photo, the, the photo is titled uh, Saving the Major. Shocker, they're dolls. It's not a photo from World War II. They're not people? No, those are action figures. Oh, oh my god. And Mark Hogenkamp? Uh started taking these photos of like World War II style recreations as a hobby um, after he was nearly beaten to death by three young men in a bar after he told them that he wears dresses for fun. He was in the hospital for over 40 days and the only reason he came out of the hospital after 40 days was his insurance wouldn't pay for it anymore. He went to physical therapy. He, you know, super shaky. Uh, could barely even, like, talk correctly. You know, like, relearning ABCs almost. Yeah. Um, had no memory of the attack. Still doesn't. The only reason um, he knows he was attacked is because he was told. The person who was standing over his bed uh, when he woke up nine days after the attack uh, was his best friend, the bartender, who told him, uh, do you know what year it is? Uh, and Mark replies, it's 1985. And he thinks he's in, I think Spain is what the article said. Mm-hmm. And no, it's, it's the year 2000. And, um, you were beaten into a coma. You've been here for nine days. Oh my Lord. Uh, anyways. Well, I thought that's not familiar. I just looked it up. There's a movie about it. Oh, is there really? It's, it's Steve for real. We should, ab- we should absolutely watch it. It's a very interesting story. Yeah, it came out a couple years ago. I, I've been, like, eyeing it. Like, I should watch that, but I haven't really got that Anyways, um... He started uh, a hobby after uh, he got his physical therapy cut off. The way he describes the story is that uh, he was on the phone with his insurance, and insurance told him, you need to come up with $175 this month, and he says, I physically can't. Like, dude can't even work anymore. Yeah. So, uh, the guy on the other end says, I guess you just don't have insurance then. <laughs> um, so he uh, started a hobby of... My understanding is he started a hobby then of uh, recreating this, uh, like, French town uh, that was in World War Two. Ow. What are you supposed to do here? Uh, chew into their armor. You have to hit every single one of them? Uh, no, I think I just need to deplete this gauge. Yeah. Awesome. Sing four! <laughs> Why? That gives me so much, like, funnies because to you're say a it. Weeb. Um. Okay, now we're through this. Anyways, he starts recreating this uh, old French World War II uh, town that I cannot recall the name of right now. I bet it's Marwin. Oh, you know what? It is. Um, and for the next, like, several years, he just, he makes these photographs recreating these scenes. Several of which feature a figure he dubs Hoagie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hogan Camp. It's him. Yeah, yeah. The the movie um, from the trailer it has like his real life, and then it also has like an action cool. figure version of him. Yeah, sorry, I was just also <laughs> looking at the this is Soriel, so I knew what I was doing. <laughs> it has an action figure version of him, yeah. along with like a couple of like the women in his life, like his physical therapist and um, yeah. I think a lady from the bar, and they're all like part of the world gotcha yeah so like a bunch of the photographs are supposed to be like ss members that are torturing people trying to get to hoagie or hoagie like absolutely demolishing these ss soldiers 
They're supposed to represent his attackers. Oh it was what how a beautiful form of therapy. Yeah, and like it, the craziest bit is like he just did this in his like trailer backyard for several years. Nobody really knew. And now there's a freaking movie starring The Office. Well, yeah, I I can't remember um, the name of the photographer. I'll I'll find it for you to uh, put up here. Uh, but somebody was coming through for like a project and saw him taking a photo of like a tiny little jeep and joked like, "How many miles to the gallon does that thing get?" He's like fifty six. Oh. <laughs> and it was it, and it looked like an artsy project. So the the photographer who was in town for a project uh, asked him like, "Do you have any photos I can look at?" So he breaks up just this huge collection of these World War II recreation photos. And the irony of it is, Saving the Major is used all the time to talk about how people like Harry Styles aren't brave for wearing a dress. This is what bravery looks like. By the way... This uh, was created by a man who in his spare time enjoyed wearing a dress. And was beaten to near death for it. Yeah. And also, they're not real people. The are uh, action figures. Yeah. Wow. That's kind of that's that's the uh, the right owning itself. Like, oh, which it constantly does all the time. What is that subreddit that's called that? Uh, uh, the right can't meme. Yeah, something like that. It As might... a matter of fact, that's actually how I found out about the story because uh, somebody had recently posted it. To r slash conservative nice. with that same stupid black and white filter. Well, what trash. Well, I also kind of relate to that because, like, so I, um, not to get too personal, um, and we only have a couple minutes left, but I, uh, I think we're actually over time, but let's just keep going. We're, we're having a good time. Yeah, and you, you stop playing for, like, I saw, I figured we can go over a little bit, but, yeah. um, I have a therapist, obviously, I talk to him once a week, <sighs> and we recently had a breakthrough uh, where I discovered that, like, my safe space and, like, the way I feel in control when I have anxiety attacks and whatnot is with dolls, because that was how, when I played with dolls when I was a little girl, that was when I felt safest and most in control of my chaotic life. And so the fact that he also found that... Oh, oh my lord, you're gonna die. It, it, yeah, I think that's... What? What? I think I just broke into Hephaestus' forge by mistake. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, that is so cool. Bro. Stop your mic with a forge, I suppose. Anyways. <laughs> Stop your mic with a forge, I suppose. Um. But yeah, I, I've discovered that I am... I, I, having dolls with me, even though I am a almost 30-year-old lady, uh, makes me feel safe. So, whenever I feel like I'm having an anxiety attack, I pull out my dolls and I brush their hair and I feel safe and calm. So the fact that he was able to do that with action figures is like kind of beautiful to me and inspiring. Why did you have to be in teacups to do this? Uh, cause Disney. Okay, but you know what? That's a valid. That's a valid explanation. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh. Okay, I'm understanding a little bit better now. Okay, I think I got it. You gotta be. Keep, keep talking. I, I'm doing boring stuff. Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, I'm just watching. Ah! You had to line them up. That didn't feel right. Just keep talking. I'm, I'm working. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Um, well, we'll, we'll discover what is supposed to be going on uh, next time. Uh, thanks for hanging out and also um, letting me trauma dump. Uh, just a little. Like a mini tiny Tiny trauma, just a tiny. Goodbye. Okay, Goodbye. Okay,